gentlemen, a pure legend is how you would describe one H.C. Loeb. This man has been everywhere. This man has done everything. A former Upstate Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, a former Ring of Honor Tag Team Champion, an ECW original. Many call this man the Pitbull. And now he's the Pitbull of New York Championship Wrestling, and he came to fight. If you want to talk about legit tough in wrestling, look at H.C. Loeb. Yep, look no further, Jake. That's the gold standard of toughness. You can punch this man in the face, you can punch this man in the midsection, right in the breadbasket, it doesn't matter. He smiles. He's gonna he'll hit you back twice as hard. He's gonna eat your shots and keep going. High voltage Omar and is a different monster though. He, but I feel like this is a different kind of animal that he might be used to. It's gonna be a crazy fight. Let's just say that. You're not wrong. You ready to turn it up? Skeletor! The best in New York! If there's one thing an NYCW crowd loves, it's high voltage Omar. Yeah, no doubt about it. The voltage, no pun intended, goes up 25 levels when this music hits. This is their man. This is who they came to see. And AC Loke is looking to send them home not happy tonight. And HBO is clearly in the race to try to get that NYCW championship back. And what better way to, to show this man over here, Mr. Johnny Patches, that hey, I want my shot than beating an ECW original. Yeah, yeah. Talk about putting your name on the map. And you're not just a part of the discussion, you are the discussion. Yeah, and let's let's just be honest, man. ECW changed the face of wrestling, and this is a guy who was there for it hands-on. Yeah, absolutely, until the very last day. Yeah. Until the very last day. And this is one of the founding fathers of Ring of Honor. I believe he was the second ever tag team champion. I believe so. Man, that Carnage crew, that the Carnage crew um, reuniting earlier this year. That was awesome. What a moment. What a way for New Jack. What, yes. a, what a way for New Jack to go out. Unbelievable. But that's not what we've got business at hand right now. This contest is one of the marquee matchups on this show, one that everybody has been waiting for. And we are just seconds away from this thing getting underway. The crowd, uh, they might be split. Right down the middle right now. Yeah, but I'll tell you what. This is an HVO crowd, no doubt about it. Once uh, once he starts getting some shots on Loke, this crowd's gonna wake him right up. Yeah, but that's my words. Is he gonna get it? Because Loke is the one who's taking control very early on here. Like I said earlier, Loke is a damn pit bull. And what does a pit bull do? A pit bull attacks, a pit bull strikes, and they try to do that first. Omar can't break free here. Loke got him tight here. Yeah, he's trying to. Oh, he's slowly working his way over. Loke's stuck in a hammerlock right now, but I bet he knows a way out. Oh, I'm sure. Let's see. <laughs> As he's now showing the new generation of wrestlers how to get out of said moves. Yeah, H.C. Uh, Loke um, has been really trying to train the next generation, and uh, we're seeing those fundamentals. Uh, he, he's got the Fighting Arts Academy yes. out of Campbell, New York, and I'll tell you what, he, he's looking to make his students proud tonight, and uh, what better way to do that than to, to get yourself right in that championship discussion. And some of those students are here tonight with us. Absolutely, TJ Epics from the Battle Royal, one of those students. HBO got control in now. Absolutely. Needs to take advantage. It's not often you have Loke in a prone position like this. Loke, though, definitely planning out his next move as he's getting back to his feet. Yeah, I'm trying to get back in the contest. Oh, another arm ringer here. Got this thing in tight. I'll tell you what, Ooh. smart strategy there from Omar to work and focus on the arm at HC Loke because I'll tell you what, that ripcord clothesline has put away everybody that's ever made contact with it. So if you take away the arm, you take away the ripcord. You're not wrong, it's the best strategy to have, but HC Loke there showing a bit of uh, versatility as he was able to escape. A little bit slippery there. HVO getting an arm ringer for himself right here, rolling through though. 
Look at the athleticism of this big man. H it's, HBO is, is truly a unique specimen. You know, it's not every day you see a guy that size able to keep up with such ease. You're not wrong. Really a specimen. Oh, nasty knife edge chop. That's another one of those ones that we heard in a different town. Oh, we felt that. Not sure. Newberg. <laughs> If there's anybody listening or anybody watching that's from Newburgh, I promise I don't hate your town that much. Listen, I, I'm just a little bitter because people say what they should say about your town about Niagara Falls. Am, 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 am I heel? Is this, is this what happened tonight? Uh, you, you are heel in one exact oh, location in New York. York. In Newburgh, New York, where nobody goes. Oh, my goodness. Oh. That one was hurt all the way there, though. Oh, my. And Loke is just so tough. Yeah, my goodness. And again, if I had to compare any two wrestlers as like in, in like closeness in both size and strength and stature, I look at HC Loke and I think of Tomohiro Ishii. Yeah, yeah, that's a solid comparison. Another pit bull. Exa the stone Another pit bull. Pit bull. <laughs> yeah, that's the only way to describe HC Loke. And Omar is in a rough spot right now. I'll tell you what. My oh, goodness. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, for those who are not seeing Jake right now, this man is literally clutching his chest. And I could feel it too. Wow. Chops are the worst. Well, they say that you should not anger HC Logue. And it appears that High Voltage Omar has done just that. Yeah, and he's regretting it now. Oh, no. what a sweet escape, though. Educated feet out of the way. An educated feat to the head of H.C. Loke. High rent district, a big guy going up. Loke's going to have none of that. Oh. All the way to the floor. Loke is just a man who's so experienced, has seen so much. He knows where you are. Always. He hits you in a way that's going to send you to a certain part of the ring. Every strike is calculated with H.C. Loke. I was just laying him in on, on, on the outside here, though. You can hear the thud every time. Uh-oh. Well, that's illegal. I mean, he's, he's from a place where it wasn't. <laughs> well, sitting's not illegal. Sit down for some more chops. Oh. Chop suey. <laughs> Sit down for a bowl of chop suey there, Omar. Wait a minute. Oh, oh. shot to the midsection. Ron, me to tell you a story of how chop suey was invented later. <laughs> I think we just watched it. <laughs> I don't know. It involves San Francisco and miners. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is a PG-13 show, Jake, even though I swore a little I bit. I thought about. it was PG. I don't know. The a ass patches. He's patches, over am I, Oh, he's gone. I was going to say, am I allowed one F word oh, for oh, sure? With this pino? Somebody's got to know. Russ, do the monkeys in the back? Oh, oh, HBO just ate elbow. Yeah. Oh, watch this. Watch this. Oh, sayonara. Sayonara, HBO. That's it. That's it. That's a pit bull strike. Yes, it is. Two, three. Nope. Two and a half. Two and a half. HBO feeling this audience, though. I was going to say, if this might be anywhere else, that could have been it, but this is HBO's crowd as they're now starting Breaking to rally into behind that. him. Yep. Very audible. Let's go, Omar Chance. Raining through the water bleak dome here. And it, you can see it. It's fueling him. It's getting there. H.C. Low trying to hang on, but not having any luck here. Omar off the ropes. Oh, nice Kitchen win. Sink. Absolutely. The cover. I have an observation. Yeah. So H.C. Loke, he's a crazy bastard. We know this. Yes. The man still has thumbtacks all along the bottom I of his I saw that. Intense. The H.C. stands for hardcore, buddy. You're not wrong. Absolutely. ECW original through and through. High voltage Omar is in so much trouble, Jake. And only the toughest of dudes wear short boots like that. This is true. Oh, back oh. elbow from Woke. Jake, when's the last time you saw somebody have high voltage Omar in this sort of situation? This is, I've, I don't know if I've seen Omar take a beating like this in it's a long not time. not like this, man. Not. He's usually always got sparks of life. Always the audience isn't even getting him up here. No, and I think it's just because it's it's a man who's so tough and so strong and so capable. Saito suplex! Oh, but out that'll, of nowhere. That'll get you free. Oh, high voltage Omar needs his crowd right now. He needs to catch his breath, he needs to compose himself, and he needs to figure out a game plan now. Up to four right now. Omar almost up to his knees. Here we go. Omar feeling it. 
Second win maybe right now. But the crowd's oh. also getting behind Loke, which might backfire on Omar. No, the only thing is backfiring is Loke's chest right now. Wait a minute. And down! Oh. HC Loke, the back of his skull went bouncing off that canvas. And remember everybody I know it's been said a million times before but it's just a small amount of padding in wood your brain is going to shuffle in there Muda style have back elbow have you ever seen a big man flip around like that no unbelievable except for Bam Bam yeah nobody nobody better I don't I make the biggest flying big man there is but my goodness and again he's working on the head now he's sh shuffling that brain around that's a free spinal adjustment from high voltage Omar I could use one now <laughs> go in the ring Maybe but I, but I need you to be here. I don't know if you get up from that. Maybe one more time. <laughs> well, Pi's sitting there. I guess Pi could sit in again, but... As I die you know, in the ring. Yeah, there is an ambulance right out that door, so you should be all right. But will H.C. Logue, High Voltage Omar has really turned things around here. But it can still change at any moment. Drop of a dime, buddy. There it is again. Hey. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know what's next. Ripcord! 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 That's it. One, two, three. No! Oh. No! No! The shock on that his face. That was just two. Yeah, I'm feeling that same emotion. But you know what, uh, what HBO's big mistake was? What ne was that? Never go for the same move twice. That's how, yeah. Scouted. Scouted and turned into ripcord. Now Lowe's just got to hammer away here. This man is dead weight. He is? There's no life in the limbs of High Voltage Omar right now. None. But Loke is telling him to get up. Face him. One on one. Loke needs to just pull him up and hit another ripcord right away. Put this thing away. He took too long. Yep. Omar coming back. Still Wait a minute. Rip. There it is. No, nope. Nobody home. Schoolboy. Rolls up. One, two, three. That's it. That's wow. it. High Voltage Omar has done it. High Voltage Omar. The secret to flash pins like that is leverage. And the amount of leverage that he had there, there was no way Loke was gonna be able to get out. It's a matter of leverage and weight. And those two things were working in the factor. And, and here we are, here we are, high voltage to Omar with a massive victory. The frustration though on H.C. Loke's face, you just saw it there, but. Well, he had high voltage to Omar on the brink this entire contest. But live to fight another day, I guess. It just, it seems to be HBO's ring. Well, let's see. Sign of respect by these two pit bulls. That term's, I, I feel like that term's being abused tonight, but it is not. It fits these two men. Loke just still can't believe what just went down. Yeah, he's... Honestly, I can't either, Jake. It just goes to show you that a wrestling contest can end just like that. It's not always... That's some flashy big move. No. No. I mean, think it's about always it. the stuff you least expect. Former NWA World's Heavyweight Champion Pat O'Connor in the O'Connor role. Sometimes that's all it takes. That's it. And here we go. The music is off. We got a showdown right in the ring here. Shake of the hand. Sign of respect. You'd love to see it. Well, I mean, these two men fought. Oh, they, they murdered each other. Oh, ho, ho, the f I thought Logan might have done that. <laughs> might have taken him out, but no, no. No, he's, he's showing he's him giving the, him the ring. The, the respect. It's high voltage. It's high voltage Omar's night here at NYCW, and this crowd is giving it to him. He and deserves you, it too. And you have to think he is one step closer to regaining or at least challenging for the NYCW Championship. So he is going to be focused very closely on Johnny Moran and Fox Vinny. Yeah, still to come, our main event of the evening.